I have made a mix of overnight oats and chia pudding and in the morning I topped it with mango, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds and goji berries. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kati. I am doing intermittent fasting at the moment and I have lost some weight, quite a few kilos since January, about the 18th of January. Um, I also eat mostly plant-based food, not, not only, but mostly. Mostly vegan or vegetarian, at least. So, I have lost about 8 kilos maybe, I'm not so, so sure, um, something like that. And I want to lose a few more kilos before I decide what to do if, if I will continu continue with the intermittent fasting or not. But the way I'm doing it is I eat two meals a day. I eat breakfast at about 7 or 8 in the morning and then I eat lunch at about 1.30 in the afternoon and after 2 o'clock I don't eat anything until the next day. And the way, the way I eat those meals is that I try to, to make sure I get as, as much nutritious, nutritious, that was a difficult word, <laughs> Um, as I can, as, as much different vegetables and fruits, nuts and berries. Um, I thought I would make every now and then what I eat in a day while I'm doing this intermittent fasting. So this morning I had, as I showed you, I had, um, I make it's a mix of overnight oats and chia pudding. Um, it's oats, chia seeds, and this time I had almond milk and some cinnamon. And I stored it, store it in the fridge overnight. And in the morning I add what I have of fruits, berries, nuts, seeds. And I also have coffee with oat milk and honey and I'm not sure what I, what I will make for lunch today we'll see what I find I will I'll have to go for a, for some errands first so I will also get my walk today I walk a lot I don't have a car so I walk to all places that I need to go and I like to walk and I also try to exercise for about half an hour every day the last week has been quite busy so I haven't done that every day I have exercised today but not the complete all the things I, I, I do because what I do is I do about 10 or 15 minutes with a kettlebell and then I ride a um, spinning cycle um, for maybe 15-20 minutes and I have a jump rope, I, I jump rope but that is the most hard I think so I'm not so good at it, I, I can only hum jump for a few minutes but I want to get better at it. So yeah, I will go for a walk now and do some errands and then I will come back and do lunch. I'm not sure if I have to go to the shops. I don't have so much vegetables. We'll see, I have to think about that. But I'll show you my lunch as well. So 
now I'm back home. Um, I went to my mom's also. Um, but the electricity was out. We would have had some coffee, but there was no electricity. Now we have it, so it's back. And I got home and I am really hungry. And um, we don't have so much vegetables now because we're going to make a grocery haul for tomorrow. And I am hungry. So today is a little bit of a failure, um, but I want to show those as well. I'm so hungry, I'm making lunch now, but I couldn't wait, so I've had some sweet chili tortilla strips, um, but I have lunch in the oven. I'll show you what I came up with. So this is my lunch today. It's a baked potato, uh, some carrots, sweet corn, a couple of onion rings from yesterday. My son made them. And also my son made this yesterday. It's a pasta with, I think it's chicken and sausage. So that one is not vegetarian at all. But I'm so hungry and it was leftover, so I will have this. And I might put on um, some shiracha mayo. I'm not sure. But this is what my lunch looks today. Not vegetarian and not so many vegetables. But hopefully we will have more veg veggies tomorrow. That was what I eat in a day today. It's different every day, of course. So I will make more videos like this every now and then. Thank you so much for watching and see you again another time. Bye bye.